Trey Bond talk about you know, that shot at the end when it was a two point game and you had that big, big shot? Uh, I think initially we wanted to try to get it in, um, inside. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think we could or something messed up. I really didn't know. It was kind of like a, a blurry play. But what I do know is that uh, it was like five seconds on the shot clock. And um, that I remember calling it out of Q's hands uh, to get it at the top. And at that point, I was just going to give, I was just going to do what the defense gave me. So um, it's just all off instinct. How is it to come back here and play in Indianapolis? Oh, it's great. It's always a good feeling coming back. Um, my family, a lot of my family is here at the game, so they don't get to travel too often. So it's always a good feeling when, you know, I got the whole family coming to watch me play. Uh, it's good. I mean, uh, you got to have confidence in, in, in the shots you take. If you don't have confidence, then I feel like nine times out of ten, you're not going to make that shot. So, uh, you know, I kind of take pride in trying to, you know, get that shot, um, you know, trying to at least make a play, whether it's uh, passing down low or something. But, you know, um, you got to take pride in that. And I have the utmost confidence in anybody on the team and even myself, you know, whenever we face in those situations. <laughs> Um, my teammates had a lot of confidence in me. Our coaches kept calling the plays, and I was just uh, doing whatever uh, my team needed me to do. The end regulation, you pulled up for that shot. Yeah, the same thing. Coach called the play. I just ran the play, and I was happy to make the shot. Coach, you talked about the fact that you guys are Yeah, I mean, it helps us out a lot. I mean, it took a minute at the beginning of the season, you know, just to try to get a good fit for the team, uh, just to get a good feel for how we play. And um, I think he's done a great job, you know, transforming his game um, into our style of play. And it makes him a very dangerous player. I mean, to be able to play at the five and play on the perimeter, um, I mean, that's, and to be as potent as a scorer as he is, that's valuable and that's key for our team. And I feel like that's kind of, you know, what separates us. And once we see that he's going, it kind of gets us going. So um, I feel like his, him transforming into the player he is now has been great for us. Hey, Ron, how do you see the Big East? You're right there with Villanova. How do you see it playing out the rest of the way? Uh, I don't know. The way the Big East is, I mean, you, you, you never know what to expect. I mean, one minute, a number one seed in the conference can play the 10 seed, and it's a close game, and they lose. So I can't really tell you how it's going to come down. I just know that you know we're going to keep trying to do our part on you know trying to make sure we're staying at the top and aiming for a Big East championship. Trey, is it, is it, is it a challenge to keep your mind focused on the East game when you, you know, the seat polls and the projections and all that kind of stuff, bigger picture stuff? Uh, yeah, I would say so, but I would say that was more <clears throat> two years ago. I feel like we were in the same position um, as being highly ranked. And so um, I just learned from that situation. You know, I learned you can't get too consumed with that. Those don't really matter. Um, I mean, the top 25 fluctuates every week. So um, you can't really be too consumed with all that. So this time, I don't even pay attention to it. You know, rankings don't matter to me. It's just all about our record, you know, how about how we go out every night and compete. That's all, you know, the whole team is really worried about. Um, I mean, we just came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we just we wanted to be the we wanted to be the team, the louder team, tougher team, team with more energy. And I think, you know, for the first couple of minutes, that's what we did, and that's why we were able to get out that lead. Um, I do believe that we we kind of slowed down. We kind of our energy was kind of dying down, and um, you know, they started to make a run, and we just, I mean, it's tough. It's tough to play at Hinkle, so I mean, it's tough to try to you know stop them from making their run, and uh, you know, it made it for a good game. Explain what's opened up for you. Yeah, I mean, it's all uh, about my confidence. You know, in the beginning of the season, uh, I had a slow start, but as we as we kept playing, uh, I kept getting more shots and I kept uh, seeing the opening. So it was just a confidence thing that grew up in me. What did you need to learn about 
That we have to be tough and also playing in the Big East, uh, every game is a tough game, uh, like we saw uh, in the beginning of the season. Villanova came here and lost, so every road game, especially, is a tough one. So we have to t uh, take care of business uh, on home and the road. Can you describe the difference between playing in the Big East and playing on the Rising? Yeah, um, you can't you can't take a night off, and uh, every player is a good player. You know, uh, every, every player can step up, uh, and every road game is a tough game. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, it just it felt like you know the last couple of games. Um, it was just you know us our lack of defense, lack of detail on the defensive end, and. I just didn't, ultimately, we didn't play hard enough, and we tried to make those adjustments now. Um, now that we're getting into the latter part of the season, I mean, it's, it's getting kind of tough. Guys are getting tired and stuff, and um, you know, I, just, I just feel like our biggest thing right now is energy. Um, it's not, it's not um, detail running our offense great, stuff like that. It's just energy. You know, some guys just got to bring it every day, and uh, that's what we're trying to focus on.